Yes, ma'am. Rome, Georgia. Yep. Pretty cool, every boat starts out like this. So once it comes off the, the, uh, the, the rollout, and it comes off of the, the router, the parts are stacked for any of the uh, brake presses. So they'll press the lids, uh, side mounts, any, any and everything. All the parts are, are built here. Uh, we'll run, we'll run uh, an additional part off of this router as well. This one also will do wood for us. We do do wood and our riveted John boats just in the transfer. That's it. All of what you're running and any all welded is 100% all of them. And there's no wood in that boat. So we've got three brake presses. We've got one on the other side this week uh, that'll run these parts and bend them. So they'll take over here. Uh, and they'll put any of the bends in them, any, any of that stuff that you see here where they're making those angles. This is our welding line. So everything in here, we'll, we'll start with uh, how they'll marry the two transoms together. Um, what this gentleman's doing here is basically putting all the top cap pieces together. He's, he's building all the structure on what we're standing on. So the deck lid, he's putting all that underneath structure is what James is doing right here. So you can see all that, where that structure piece, where uh, the top piece of that. Yeah. So Lee will take the holes. This is where they're 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 jigged out to bring them together. So he'll bring them up, put them on the jig, put them together. He'll put that one piece heel on, and he'll do all that weld there. Right now he's working on. He's doing transoms. These are the inside structure of our transoms. Um, but when we're running holes, that's they're upside down. He's doing all that. Once he does that, and the the shape is there, uh, they'll put it on a on a roller. They'll go outside and they'll do a water test. They'll fill it with water and do a water test. They find any leaks, they 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 mark that leak, bring it back in, they fix it. Okay. Um, if there's no leaks, then then it comes it, it's tagged to come down down the line. Um, so now it starts to go into our jig. And now it's being birthed as the boat. So the structural pieces are all coming together. The gunnel, the transom, um, the stringer system support for the for the entire latitude, longitude, all of it. Um, it's, it's done on these jigs. And they're adjustable, so depending on what boat size we're running, they can adjust that jig for that difference of, of uh, uh, hole. Off of there, they've got all that. Now we'll start running, putting the floors in, putting the deck caps in, putting the back deck caps in. All of that is done in that secondary line. That's what Chevy's doing right there. So. That's a big boat. That's 2072 Bay. This is the cap out, is what we call it. He's doing all the finish work on it. So he's actually putting all the side caps and finishing all of that off. He's, he's marrying the top cap, front end piece, all of that with the TIG weld. And when you do some video or what you're doing, I want to get some pictures of his welds. He has been doing this for over 30 years. Drives over two hours a day to come to work. What? Pastor full time as well. This guy is it, man. Oh, he, that's sick. And I mean, you can look on some of the boxes he does. Yeah. When I got my amazing, when I got my first boat. I had a friend of mine who was a welding instructor, and he was like, "Oh my god!" That's him. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, he worked at the local community college. He was a. He was a, a yeah. So instructor. he's putting all that piece on. He'll and he'll weld all that. You can see just. Yeah. Any of the bass fishermen do it pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he said you're pretty good. He didn't say good. <laughs> no bass fishermen. <laughs> Oh.
now the boat will that's what these are they're just kind of sitting and waiting right now right so those boats are physically done on the on the on the weld side of it um, and while they'll go then up is into our foam station so um, we do have one more jig that we if we, when we need it and when we're running running um, right now they're they're full that's why they're not running anything we've got the order they're just we got an order that we got a Right now, our bottleneck is in our paint booth. Right. Yep. So I got to we got to stop that, catch this up, then they can go back to the moving on. So, so once it's done, there it comes into fall. So this is where everything now you're getting your your flotation, all of that. So any of these whole cavities, um, side floor, um, are filled with the gun. Um, what he does, he puts it in the system per boat. So it knows when he when he pulls that trigger, it knows exactly how many seconds per hole to hold that. Oh wow. it'll, It's all it's all yep. calculated out. Um, so he'll he'll do that. He'll let it. Well, obviously some of it will come up through. We'll trim all that out. Um, do all of that side of it, and then it goes into waiting for to go into prep um, to be prepped hey. down. So yep. one thing with us with with the welded product. Um, you'll see different from our riveted jaw boats is because we use a, a, a urethane paint process, right? The same thing you use in an automobile car. Um, these boats, because when we throw them through those deep, they're oily, it's, you know, you got the weld marks with the dirt, um, and then they'll sand down. So they'll sand down and, and clean all of the weld marks to flat. They'll, they'll, they'll go through, we'll, we'll, we'll see back there if they're running. Um, they basically got to get it all roughed up and, and clean um, before they can primer it. Oh, yeah, you can see one after it's been foam. But there's one of your. That's just awesome. I don't think people understand how hard it is to do that. Yeah, and just do it that way. Yeah, and make it that, it that nice. Look. That's basically what they're doing now. So yep. they're basically sanding it, trimming down any pieces, burring it out. And they're getting it prepped to go in to uh, into the paint, basically is what, is what it is. So, no need for primer, right? Um, and because there's there's some welding done just to bring everything together, everything else is riveted. So it's just a matter of them just washing off the the, the, the dirt. Per se, and the oil, and then he, he can roll it in. He sprays them. It goes in the oven for 20 minutes. It comes out. It's done. So it's a constant revolving. Yep. As it's coming. So now we're on a rivet, the right. rivet John line. So the, behind here, the uh, behind this hot works curtain is where they're they're taking the hull and they're just bringing everything together. They'll stack it. It'll come over here and stacks, and it's basically a bag of Oreos, man. They just pull one. They start putting the gunnels together and it just goes down the line. So when they get the gunnels and the and the transom and all that structural piece part of it, then it goes to the next piece and they're putting the benches and all of that in it. And then they'll put the uh, the structural pieces in it and then goes down and there's one last uh, welding that needs to be done. And then on the back side we'll see it. They'll water test it right here. Um, once she's it's good to go, then it's stacked like this. And then it goes into on uh, this line here to be uh, they'll blow it out, get all the little little shavings and everything out. But they can, and it's the same thing with those boats. They'll get, you know, I, I love it when I get, you know, oh, they didn't clean this boat. I'm like, I can promise you, and finish. They vacuum them out, and as yep. a dealer, I have vacuumed them out. But I said it's just, you know, shaking down the road. To some, you know, you're gonna get you get into finish. Um, everything in the fence, uh, that's our crib. That's every part, every piece that goes on any kind of boat that we keep. Our seats, pulling motors, everything is there. When a boat goes through, it's actually kitted out. And the finishing department gets those boxes for that boat, per se, it goes in there. So everything they need is already in the boat. Um, they're not having to go back and forth. Yeah. Um, you know. This is one of our new 2020 bays, new color that we're going to do. It's a uh, sunlit green. Oh, cool. It looks gray, but it's green. Yeah. And it's got flake in it. So, I got another, there's two new colors that we're, we're gonna do on the bays. I'm not doing anything with the bass boats 
they are gonna get a new decal. Um, but other than that, um, and it's gonna match what we're doing in Minnesota. Yeah. So back here, when the boats come out of the oven, so one one side is the John boats. Right now, you can see that rail, that monorail system. Yeah. The big boats come out of when they go into paint right there. Then the ovens here, or the the main paint booth is here. So I'll paint that, cook it. If it's a two tone boat, like the you know like the bay, or sometimes we'll do those pros with a two tone color. They'll shoot the first the first color, bring it out after it bakes, tape it off, pull it back in for the second color, and then bake it, and then she's done. So, um, camo boats, those are hand stenciled. So we can go around and Yeah, dude. That is cool. very, sometimes people don't understand the, the labor yeah. on this because it's all hand done. Yeah. So basically, that's how we camo a boat. What's up, man? Not much. Together from the cabling to the controls, the consoles, the seats, carpet, everything um, happens here when they build up the. We're starting to rig engines now. So, once if it's calling for the motor to be rigged, it goes into that section after it's done. They'll pull the motor in, they'll rig it, do all of that. Once that's done, then it goes over here for final inspection, and then it's uh, shrink wrapped and it's ready to, to ship out. So then they load on a trailer and there you go. That's new. The shrink wrap? No, I put logo on your sleek shrink wrap. What is going on guys? Um, as you can see behind me, I'm at Alumacraft. Pretty excited, cause I'm here to pick up my new boat. Let me show it to you. So here it is. I'm getting the brand new Evan Rude G2 115 H HO Gunmetal Gray. They're trying a new vinyl flooring. So they put this new vinyl flooring in it. That's the travel cover that I'm going to put on here in just a minute. Just a quick little run through is all this is. You got the old tracks. Brand new trailer. Brand new type of tires or wheels. Power pole blades already installed. This is a brand new digital throttle and I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got a hot foot underneath there. Pretty excited about it. We'll do a full video, a full walkthrough once I get everything rigged up because there's no electronics on it. And a whole bunch of other stuff to put on it. So pretty stinking awesome. I'm excited. All right. Well, that's it. Well, I'm going to head on out to, uh, I got to go hook it up to the truck. Got to take it, uh, take it back home with me. I got about a, I guess about a nine and a half hour drive left ahead of me take it home get it rigged up get the electronics put on it all other stuff but like i always say say guys be sure to introduce somebody to fishing introduce them to my channel let me help you teach them how to fish more importantly get out on the water go ahead and catch some fish and have a great day we'll see you look at that thing oh sick <laughs>